everyone, Christian here, and let me adjust the camera just a bit. And I'm here with a line of both spindles and bottles. Mostly spindles, but a few bottles, and I figured I would... I think some people do have problems differentiating uh, Hyophorbe Legenicalis from Hyophorbe Versafeltii. Sometimes when younger, but um, at this age as well, this is kind of a juvenile age. They haven't formed any real trunk yet. These are all clumped in threes or planted in threes. You can see these bottles have basically grown together, and these are spindles here. So, as you can see, there is definitely a color difference, but let me start with the spindle here. So the spindle is going to have this tristitious crown shaft, or pseudo crown shaft, where it looks like basically a triangle, a small triangle. You can see the angles there. It's gonna grow in three different directions. It's not, like a, it's not, it's not gonna grow as triangular as a triangle, but it will grow in three separate directions where the bottle does not do that. Now this, this is gonna have more of an orange to yellow color on the petiole and rachis, and it's gonna have more of this darkish green, um, not a forest green, but more of like a, I, I, I'm not, I don't know what hue to call that, but it, it's gonna have this flat area that you can you know, run your hand across. You, can, you know, there's not, it's not really rounded. And the fronds are going to be much more, much thinner and more arched. Actually, I hate to say this, but it almost has like a less tropical feel to it. Now, one notable thing you can t tell on a spindle is you see this the base of this rachis right here. It's going to have this yellow stripe that runs across it right there, all the way to the end. And all the way from the base, you can see right there, it starts... Sorry, I'm in, right in, the, in my own way here, but you can see the base kind of starts there. Here on the edge, it'll be a little bit easier. Base starts there, goes up. Now we'll walk over to the bottles and their notable characteristics. First, you can see they don't really grow tristitiously. They do grow in separate directions, um, but it's not as tristitious as a spindle is going to be. It has this maroon color about it. It does get a little bit orange here at the base, but you're not going to get that line, that yellow line you're going to find in the spindle. Sorry if that's a little bit out of focus. I don't have a lot of room to move around here. And the fronds are going to be wider and more tropical feeling. They're going to feel like more waxy and more just... Uh, malleable is the best way to explain it um, there is going to be a keel to it the, both of these kind of have that they have you know the attachment is at angular there right at the rachis but this dark color the dark red is going to be on all bottles they especially in full sun now in shade these are not nearly as red so these this is a sun a full sun comparison here obviously the bases are going to have they're going to they're going to kind of bulge out more at this age where the spindles don't really have, there's a little bit of a bulge going on, but not like this, where it just is like almost like a soccer ball sitting at the base. So, um, spindles tend to grow a little bit faster. So, if we were to pan back out, these are almost the same size, but these bottles are going to be a little bit older, and bottles are going to be a little bit more, um, little, I'm sorry, a little more cold sensitive. So at 32, these are going to brown around 20. They're just kind of going to die out right now. Spindles will brown around 30 to 32, but dying out right really takes down to like 25 or so. So I almost want to give spindle like a 9B hardiness, but they're really kind of right on the edge of 9B, 10A, and bottles were definitely a 10A. Uh, uh, they're hardy to only 10A. Putting them in zone 9 is really just gambling. I mean, you, can, you might be able to protect them. They're not a large palm, but they are... a several degrees less cold hardy than a spindle so they also are easy to grow back once they do burn but that's a whole different vlog so um you know you can see how uniform these spindles are these were actually these are originally seedlings that i just threw into a pot or seeds i threw into a pot say four three or four years ago and now they are triples in 30 gallon pots so these bottles i'm not sure they I don't think i ever grew those I just kind of, I just had a bunch of seed, picked them, threw them in a pot, and four years later, that's what you have. So, they look really nice when planted in triples, both bottles and spindles, and they do grow very well in groupings. They don't tend to get too parasitic. You can see that all three of these kind of look of the same size. They're fairly uniform, where in some palms, you'll get one palm that kind of sucks all of the nutrients and water out, and the other uh, palm or the other two will die. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope... Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification. I do go live quite a bit. And if you have any questions about bottle versus spindle characteristics, feel free to leave it down below, and I'll get back to anyone as soon as possible. And thank you for watching.